ADHD affects over 15% of the youth population. And this is not just because children are being born with an inherent unmet need for Adderall or Vyvanse. Nope, that is not the cause. ADHD, of course, is multifactorial. And the causes and remedies, there's a lot we need to consider related to that. But a recent study using MRI brain imaging showed that children with ADHD had lower levels of iron in their thalamus. The thalamus is the main information relay station in our brain. Another study has shown that children with ADHD have lower levels of ferritin in their blood. And ferritin is a protein that transports uh, iron and stores iron inside cells for later use. So we have low iron in the thalamus, low ferritin in the bloodstream in ADHD children. Interestingly, the majority of children in these studies were not anemic, meaning they had normal red blood cell counts. They had uh, healthy red blood cells from a CBC standpoint, that is a complete blood count. When these children were given iron, though, in supplemental form, they actually improved across the board in their ADHD symptoms. Kind of wild, huh? So this is an often overlooked uh, underlying reason for ADHD, and that is iron deficiency. And sure, maybe it's not the answer to all of it. I know it's not. But it can be a cog in the wheel for many who have ADHD and can be used as a therapy to help overcome one, iron deficiency, but ADHD symptoms. And the thing is, iron deficiency without anemia is overlooked all the time because you can have a CBC that looks normal, but you have low ferritin, low iron stores and get all these symptoms related to iron deficiency without actually being anemic. And when you think about children and what they consume these days, I mean, they're consuming enormous amounts of crackers, chips, breads, rice, cereals, fast food, dairy. I'm not saying that we want this to be, but that's how a lot of children are eating. You know, they're not, not only are they not getting easily accessible, iron rich food, they're consuming foods that literally promote <laughs> decreased iron uptake, you know, promote decreased acid secretions in the stomach because there's not the nourishment there that, that um, make it so the whole cascade that would allow for iron uptake is derailed. And, you know, these foods, they also, they create bacterial imbalances and negative biofilm formation, meaning it's even more challenging to take iron across into the intestines and, and into the bloodstream. All of this makes iron just that much more challenging to absorb and along with, you know, countless other vitamins and minerals. So if your child is suffering from ADHD, maybe it's time to look beyond the CBC, beyond that, just that singular blood test and look directly at their mineral content in their blood. You know, look at the actual iron levels. Uh, maybe look at the zinc levels, look at their B12 levels. Not only that, but look at the composition of the food they are consuming, you're consuming, because ADHD, you know, in the 40 plus population is going up, 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 up. How can you get more red meat? How can you get more fruit? How can you get more, more, you know, vegetable matter? How can you make that more accessible for yourself, more prominent in your, in your diet? And, you know, look at digestive repair and, and hydrochloric acid production. How can you serve yourself better? I mean, is, is it bitters? Is it taking, you know, supplements to help with that mucin layer in your gut? How can you better make yourself, your environment more capable of utilizing iron from foods or iron from supplements versus uh, like many would do, just pound more iron. So the answer to ADHD isn't just to take loads and loads of iron. The answer to ADHD is to figure out nutritional imbalances, fix those nutritional imbalances, and then you have a, a clean slate to go from to, to figure out you know behavioral and different learning strategies. But if you're, you have ADHD and you haven't checked your iron levels, check your ferritin levels, today may just be your day. All right, I'm Dr. Matt. Talk to you guys later.